Let's once again thank God for bringing us into his house this morning. Service has started. Let's give God thanks this morning. Give him all the praise and all the honor. Let him know you are grateful to be alive today. Life is a gift. God has given us this precious gift. We cannot pay for this life, but let's thank him. Give him the praise and the glory. Magnify his name. Exalt him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. In Psalm 65 and verse 4, the Bible says, Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy cause. He says, We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. Even of thy holy temple, there is goodness in the house of the Lord. We shall be satisfied. That means no one who appears before God's presence is permitted to live without being satisfied. I don't know what you want. But we shall be satisfied with the goodness of the Lord. Thank him because today you are walking out of this meeting satisfied with his goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and thank him. Give him thanks. You shall leave this meeting satisfied with the goodness of his house. Give him praise and glory. Lord, we thank you because each of us will leave your presence today satisfied with the goodness of your house. Yes, that shall be our testimony. We are living here changed. We are living here blessed. We are living here enriched. We are living here impacted. We are living here impacted with grace. We are living here changed persons. We are living here transformed and translated. We give you praise and glory. We give you praise and glory. We worship your mighty name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. As a reminder, it's important for me to let you know once again that this year is our year for Head of Restorations. There are definite things God wants to bring back to you that you have lost over the years. Everything that is yours, I don't care where it is. If it's not with you, God is bringing such back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because God cannot fail to fulfill what he has spoken, I want you to open my step, Father, thank you for my own head of restorations this year. Thank him for your own head of restorations this year. Give him praise for your own head of restorations this year. This word will speak like fire in your life. The agenda for this year will speak like fire in your life. Give God praise because what he has ordained to make happen in your life will happen by the impute of heaven. And no force will stop God. The things he has ordained to do in your life, he will bring to pass. Give him thanks for it shall be so. Give him praise for it shall be so. No force will stop you. No power will stop you. No principality will stop you. 
No rulers of the darkness of this world shall stop you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, no wicked spirits that exist in heavenly places shall be able to stop you. Give God thanks. For it shall be unto you according to his word. It shall be unto you according to the word of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The angel was sent to Mary. And she came. No, the angel sent to Mary came to her with an unheard of message. It has never happened before that time that a woman gave birth without a man. But the angel came and told her, Mary, you are going to give birth without a man. She responded, be it unto me as you have spoken to me. When God has spoken, all you need to do is to believe. If God said to us, this year is our year of unheard of frustrations, all you need to say is, God, be it unto me as you have said. Even though there is no man that can make this kind of word come to pass, be it unto me as you have spoken to me. And that's all. When she appeared before Elizabeth, that woman, full of the Holy Ghost, spoke to her and said, the blessed is she that believes. That's all. If you believe, you are blessed. That means if you don't believe, you are not blessed. God's blessings are attracted by faith and they are received by faith and they are appropriated by faith and they are possessed by faith. They are kept by faith. So when you don't believe, you are a loser. Blessed is she that believes. For there shall be a performance of those things which we have spoken to her of the Lord, regardless of how impossible they may appear. Once you believe, your faith makes the impossible possible. I don't care where you are right now. Because God has said that this year is our year of unheard of restorations. Hear me, hear me well. It shall be unto us as he has spoken to us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd like you this morning to say with your mouth, Father, let it be unto me as you have spoken to me. Let your word produce the wonders in my life. Let it be unto me as you have spoken to me. Let your word become a reality in my life. Let it be unto me as you have spoken to me. Please pray. Let it be unto me as you have said to me. That means there is enough power in your word to make the word good in my life. When the word leaves its mouth, no force on earth can cause that word to come back void. Inside the word is a power invested into it to make it happen. Let it be unto me as you have spoken to me. You are really praying. Let it be unto me as you have spoken to me. Blessed is he or she that believes. For there shall be a performance because God will always watch over his words to perform it. Once you believe it, God performs it. I believe that this year is my year of on head of restorations. In every area of life, in ministry, in family, in career, in profession, in business, in academics, in education, in any area. That it concerns you, this year is your year of unheard of restorations. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise, for it shall be unto you as he has spoken unto you. This is your year. Your year of unheard of restorations. This is my year. My year of unheard of restorations. All he has said shall come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus, all he has spoken shall come to pass. He will watch over your life to ensure his word concerning your life 
is brought to fulfillment. Be it unto me as you have spoken unto me. Be it unto me as you have spoken unto me. Be it unto me as you have spoken unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. This month of July is a month of unheard of restoration to kingdom wealth. To kingdom wealth for kingdom exploits. To kingdom wealth for kingdom exploits. Every single word that God has spoken will come to pass in your life. Amen. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous, for the just. You shall be speaking to God this morning. There is no point in what belongs to you being kept with another. Lord, let there be the transfer of my portion of your inheritance to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be the transfer of my portion of your inheritance that pertains to me unto me. Please pray. Please pray. Please speak to the Lord with understanding. Speak with strength. Put pressure. Let it be the transfer of whatever has your name tag on it as your portion of the Father's inheritance to you. Oh, let all the Shina Kaplanet say, Go ahead and pray. Let Kotono Zina pray say, Ain't no take an Azule pronundo Sika Natalehe. Lokia tonos is a branding can plantain of the clearia. Zekuto planning that kunetole zahaya. Go ahead and pray. Let there be a full transfer of your full package of the blessings of Jehovah that's meant for you. Let there be a full transfer of your full package of the Father's blessing. Let your inheritance be delivered to you full blown. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, let there be the full delivery of your package. Thank you, mighty God. For we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We read in Luke chapter number 15 from verse 11 that a father had two sons and one came and said, Father, give me my portion of my inheritance. Thank God for that boy. He was bold. He was courageous. It's not proper that he wasted it because he never understood what the word was meant for. But we are coming to the side to the father as the son came. My portion of your inheritance I need for your kingdom business, not for me to waste. Give me my portion, father. God has given to each of his sons and daughters a particular ordained, set aside, prepared and packaged in any times. Give me my portion of your of the inheritance that I need for your work in my lifetime. <laughs> Give me my portion of the inheritance you have kept in store for me that I need to live the life you have given to me. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Pray and pray. Pray and pray some more. Give me my portion of your inheritance that I need to live the best life you have given to me. All things that pertain to life and godliness you have given to us. The prodigal son asked the father for his portion. He was not denied. We have not come to request for our portion to go and waste it. We have come to demand for our portion to invest it in your kingdom business. Lord, give us our portion of the inheritance that we must have and that we must invest in your business. Are you sure you are still praying? Give us our portion of your inheritance. 
for this great assignment you have given to us. In the precious name of Jesus, give us our portion of your inheritance. That we will use to do your work and to finish it. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord who hears and answers prayers will deliver to you the full package of what you need to live the best life from now. Amen. All things that pertain to life and godliness that you need to live and serve His purpose. He will not withhold from you. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You may preserve your seats.